Well, the remains of two bison allegedly shot and killed by the Wichita Wildlife Refuge have been removed. It comes a week after a landowner found them shot and rotting on his private property. He told News 4 he couldn't get answers. News 4's Caitlin Ogle has the latest. While they were on the loose, the refuge says the bison had been near cattle and they were worried the buffalo had been infected with diseases. With no way to quarantine them, the refuge says their workers decided to euthanize them on private property. And I don't have to deal with the smell and the headache. Tuesday, the Wichita Wildlife Refuge cleared the remains of two buffalo on the Folkert's property. After uh, over a week of silence from them, uh, they came out. The refuge says the buffalo had been missing for weeks. September 24th, David Folkert's mother spotting them in her yard. Refuge workers knocking at her door, trying to track them down. And she told them where the property lines were. The next day, the Folkert's discovered the dead bison on their property. Over the phone, the deputy director told Folkert they were worried cattle from a nearby ranch infected the bison with a hard to test disease. Um, there's a disease called mycoplasma bovis that Livestock uh, cattle can have and it doesn't really make them sick, but it can be really devastating mm -hmm. to bison and our staff were unaware that they were coming on to or that the bison were even on your or your mother's property and it was brought to their attention. They did exit the property. Almost 24 hours later, it took me going out to the refuge and confronting them before they contacted us. And we called your mom because we were at the understanding that she is the landowner. I, I left my number for a reason and not anybody's reached out to me. Then that Friday, David saying he caught refuge workers allegedly sneaking onto his property again without permission. Meanwhile, the refuge says since he called News 4, they had to get approval from the Department of the Interior before calling Folkert a week later. Media involvement definitely curtails our ability to, yeah. to call back at that point. They've, they've had over a week to come together with their story. In Lawton, Caitlin Ogle, Oklahoma's News 4. Well, we asked to talk to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife. Instead, they sent us a statement thanking the family for their cooperation. The Comanche Tribes has called this situation, quote, disheartening, saying they would have loved to have the bison for their members. During the phone call, the refuge says they can only donate healthy bison.